In this tutorial, I'll show you the six usages of the disk keyword in Java programming language, step by step so you can easily understand everything, and if you only need a certain usage of the disk keyword, you can find all six in the timestamps for easy navigation. So let's get started. First usage I have here is the most common usage of the disk keyword, but as you can see, I haven't actually used the disk keyword. This is because I want to show you what would happen if we don't use the this keyword. So if you just say our instance variable year of production, so this is equal to this. Okay, this is our constructor and we want to create a car object as you can see. So we have some variables here and we have a constructor here. And usually we want to say this dot year of production is equal to that. But professors at college usually don't do this and I want to show you what would happen if we if we were to create a car object now and see what, what the variables get initialized to. So as you can see, I created a new car and the values should be these. So when we print this car, the values should be these, but, but as you will see right now, this won't happen. So let's do a quick recap. We have a class car and it has some instance variables and we want to create a constructor that will initialize these values when we create the car. So when we create the car, we want your production to be this brand name, this and so on. And for now we have this constructor and we created this object. And now let's print the values and see what happens. So if we run the program, this print method will get called, as you can see here. So on our car object, we call the print car and it will print the year of production brand name and so on. So let's run it. And as you can see, the values are zero, null, null, null. That is because the default values of ints are zero and of strings are null. And the reason they didn't get initialized are because we say year of production is equal to year of production, but the program doesn't know which year of production are we referencing. So it just says, let's make this year of production equal to itself and these don't get mentioned as you can and as you can see now when i add this keyword the ide automatically changes the color because it knows that now when we say this year of production we are referencing this and this year of production is referencing this as you can see the colors match so this is this and this is this and now when we add all of these and run the program. As you can see, the values get initialized to values that we actually wanted. And that is the first usage of the this keyword. Let's go to the next one. The second usage is pretty straightforward and it's not really used because the compiler does this automatically. But let's say that we have these four methods. So print year, print brand, print registration, print color. And we want to call them from a different method. So we have a print car method here, which calls these methods. And when we run the program, so let's run the program, you can see that we get this output because the compiler actually adds the this keyword for us, but we can do this manually. I'll copy this. And when you run the program, you will get the exact same output because the compiler actually does this automatically. So you don't actually have to use the this keyword, but you can if, if it makes your code more clear. The compiler does this automatically, as you can see here. And now let's go to the next sample. The third usage is really useful and it is used to invoke the current class constructor. It's really useful because you can reuse your code. So we have a constructor that only takes the registration plate. So if we were to create a car, it would only have a registration plate initialized. And now you want to update your um, constructor and you say, so let's give it your production brand name and registration plate. And the way you do that is you for the registration plate, because we already have a constructor for that, you can just say this and registration plate. And the program knows that it needs to call this constructor with this parameter. So the way you do that is you go here, the program takes this parameter which you passed, it goes here, then this gets called and this gets initialized. And then the program continues. So we first initialize the registration plate, then the year of production and the brand name. And as you can see here, we, I tested it. So I use this constructor, which only takes three parameters. So year of production, brand name and registration plate. 
and when we run the program as you can see the year of production gets set to 2000 which is this the brand name is mercedes which is this and the registration plate is this so it works our this keyword used to invoke the constructor works and our color doesn't get initialized because we haven't set it to anything one thing here worth mentioning is that if you try to do this with let's say car uh, string and color you will get an error because um just a second color you'll get an error because you cannot have two constructors that take one parameter and one string parameter. If you were to do this with car and int year of production, you can do it. And you can say this year of production is equal to year of production. As you can see, you can do it. The, the error is car string is already defined because you can, you can only have unique constructors. So you can add as many parameters you want. You can have one parameter constructor, two parameter constructor, and so on. But if you have a one parameter constructor and it is a string, you cannot have two. And I'll give you one more example so we don't get confused. So let's say that we have, um, this has nothing to do with the, this keyword, but with constructors, but I just want you to know how this works so if you have a constructor that takes like a string and registration plate and you have int year of production and okay they do something it doesn't really matter what and then you say let's take another but we take color and int year of production you will get the same error because the program looks at these two and they say it's the same because it takes the string and it takes an int it takes a string it takes an int the program doesn't care what the name is so he looks at this like two same constructors and constructors must be unique but if we were to add something here like string um brand name you can you can see that it works so let's go to the fourth usage of the this keyword fourth usage is this keyword can be passed as a method argument. And this can be really confusing for beginners, but it's actually really simple. So let me let me show you. I created a car here and I didn't call the usual print car method, as you can see. I called print car that is using this method. So this method over here. And as you can see, it takes a this argument. And now that can be weird, like what what is this now? And what it actually does so we called this method print car that it's using this method upon this object and now when we come here and say print this car and we say this we actually send that object upon which we called that method so we can say here third car now it will not work because this this program doesn't know what the third car is but when we say this he knows that this is actually this third car and then we send the third car to print this car which takes the car and here comes car third car and now when we run the program you can see that our car got printed as you can see, Europe production 2020, Tesla, registration plate, plates, and color yellow. So to recap how this works, we say third car, print car that is using this method. Okay, we come here, print car that is using this method, and we say print this car with this keyword. And now we take the object upon which this method was called, which is third car, so this method was called upon third car and now this is the same as saying print this car third car as you can see here if i come well i cannot call this method because it's it's not a static method so i have to call it upon the car but when we say third car dot print this car and third car again you can see that we will get the exact same output as you can see here
So this is a really useful thing and it can be used to access the current object which you need. Just like inside any method, we can also send this inside of a constructor as you can see here. So this is our default constructor and it sets the year of production of the car to 2020, 2020, 2020. So when we create this car, this fourth car year of production will be this. And then from this constructor, we call another constructor. So we will actually create two objects. The first one is this, and the second one is this one, which will be created, but we cannot access it. But it will be created, as you will see just now. And then you create the new car using this keyword. So we actually send this fourth car object here. And this gets here. As you can see, we need the car. So we get the fourth car here. And we say this year of production. So from this car will be equal to car year of production and our car is the fourth car which we created here and now when i run the program you will see that year of production is 2020 2020 but this is actually this car's year of production let's do this system dot out dot print line a new car year of pro of production and when i rerun the program you'll see that this gets called so just like in any method you can also send you can also use this inside of a constructor so basically in here in here we sent the fourth car so this object that we just created is this and then we send it here we take its year production and save it into our new car which we cannot access this is not as used as much but just so you know and the last usage is that we can return the current class instance variable so we have this method which returns this and now we can say what do you actually return you actually return the object upon which you call the method so when we come here and we create the fifth car and we say fifth car dot get car we will actually get the fifth car and if we do the fifth car print instance which is this which just prints this, we can see that we'll get the same output. So this is just the reference uh, variable. We didn't actually print the car, we printed the reference. And if you say fifth car dot print car, and if you say fifth car dot get car dot print car, you will again get the same output because those two are the same things, as you can see. We got the same output which proves that when you return this you actually get the same current class instance variable and that is the last usage i hope you found this helpful you can find this code and i encourage you to play around with it and see what happens you can find it on the github the link will be in the description and if you want to watch more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon so you never miss a video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.